Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, our opening weekend festival, and uh, welcome to the section of regional agent stories, Asia Pacific. And uh, it's a carol talk and it's a fireside chat by after agent in uh, Asia Pacific. And uh, uh, for this talking, we have many uh, three sections. The first section is the self-introduction section. Uh, today, we, we invite Ben Kang, Vishan, and Ro, uh, and including me, four person, uh, to sharing stories. And uh, uh, the second part is uh, the section of story sharing. Uh, we will share some uh, agent stories, very interesting. And the third uh, part, or third section, is uh, while talking. So we will uh, towards some topics. Uh, let's begin with the first section. The first section is self-introduction. Uh, so uh, I will introduce myself first. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Li Jiabao, and I am an uh, uh, alumni of XJTU. And uh, fortunately, I'm also be the ambassador. I am ambassador this year in Asia Pacific. And uh, uh, about my iJAM experience, I take part in iJAM uh, for a long time, I think. Uh, my after iJAM experience began in this year, and actually began in, uh, began in uh, 2019. And uh, my first uh, iJAM experience, I think, is, uh, is something like uh the the par participating as a uh dry lab leader uh in twenty eighteen. And about the after I joined experience, I think I will do more things in entrepreneurship. Uh because I think uh for our IGM project there are a lot of things for us to do and to innovate and uh uh it is very interesting. However for after IGM, especially in Asia uh, region, there are a lot of people do something about uh, entrepreneurship. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going, I'm doing uh, in the after IGM. So I think that's all for my self introduction. Uh, and now we will welcome Zisha. Uh, let's listen to Zisha's introduction. Welcome, Zisha. Hi. Can everyone hear me fine? Yeah, awesome. Um, firstly, thank you for having me attend today's session. It's been a very exciting um, IGM opening weekend so far. So I am Zishan. I am a recent graduate in bioinformatics and biochemistry at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. Um, I began my IGM journey as part of the wet and dry lab in 2018. And then this year for 2020, I am the mentor for the current UNSW team, as well as uh, I have the really exciting opportunity to be to work with us for IGEM and be part of the IGEM ambassadors for 2020. Um, and of course, it's going to be a very challenging year, but I think it's good. so far it's been absolutely brilliant. And I think it's going to be definitely one of the most exciting IGEM years so far. So thanks for uh, this uh, self-introduction. Let's welcome uh, Fan Kang's introduction. So Fan Kang, it's your turn. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, you know, my camera angle is a, a little bit here. It's my, I put my, cap, my laptop here. So um, I hope it's, it's OK for you guys. And hello, my name is uh, I'm Fan Kang Mong. And, uh, 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 I'm a master student from China, and this morning I just had my I uh, had my uh, master defense, and I, I, I successfully uh, survived this defense. And uh, uh, I'm also this year's uh, uh, you know IGM ambassador Asia, and I have many uh, many years experience in IGM, so maybe I can share my uh, sorry uh, my 
So I, as you can see, I, I have been in IBM since uh, 2015 as a student. There's the later advisor instructor in PI. So um, yeah. that's my basic introduction, and I hope I can uh, later you know, I can share my stories with you guys. Thank you. Oh, you really have a lot of IGM experience. That's interesting, isn't it? And I think uh, there may be a uh, uh, story sharing on the next section. So uh, the last one, we will welcome Rao to give us a brief introduction to us. So Rao, it's your turn. Have the one, do you hear me? OK. Yeah, okay. we can hear. Well, from Japan. I am currently doing IGM Ambassador 2020 with, with teams of a lot of people from all over the world. And uh, I'm currently doing my master's in Kyoto University, learning biology, specifically focusing on stem cells like iPS cells and doing some genome engineering on the cells. Well, I I belong I belong to IGM Gifu team from Japan from 2016 to 2019. So I have four year experience of IGM. And I'm so super excited to join this session today. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for uh, Ralph's in, uh, briefly introduction. And uh, I think uh, it's really a good, a good experience for us uh, to uh, share our stories especially the after IGM stories or the IGM stories to the new IGMer or uh, to the participants, whatever. It's also, it's also great, I think. Uh, so we will go into the next section, the story sharing. So uh, I, Fang Kang, and Zisha will share their uh, interesting stories. And I think we can uh, we can ask any questions or uh, uh, any recommend, uh, rec remark or any comments uh, during the sharing. And uh, I think it may be an interesting experience for us to share. So first, uh, one to share the, uh, the, 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 the question, uh, uh, to share the, the stories is me. So I will begin first. Uh, the thing I want to share, or the stories I want to share, uh, it, it, it's about uh, uh, IGM uh, journey. I think IGM is a really long journey, and uh, in this journey, we can do a lot of things. Uh, for example, uh, in 2018, I did the IGM, and I was, uh, I was, uh, the lab, the dry lab, the, the dry lab uh, leader of our team. Uh, my team is XJTU, uh, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Uh, at that time, uh, the most interesting thing is that uh, the experiment of IGM will, would not always go well. I think it's all the, all the, all, all the problems that every team may uh, come up with. Uh, finally, we, uh, I think, uh, finally we overcome it. And the second thing uh, I told is, is a high school uh, experience. Uh, although they don't know what, uh, although they may don't know uh, what I have said, but they, uh, they, they are really interested in what we said for a young child, uh, for young children. And the third thing I want to say is that uh, we can uh, we can enjoy ourselves uh, in the experience of Ajahn and uh, uh, to share others uh, about our to share others uh, to share our uh, experience or share our knowledge to others. And uh, next, uh, we will welcome Zisha uh, to share his story. So let's welcome Zishan. Yeah, thank you so much. And I think, yeah, I completely agree with what you uh, talked about over the past. Um, and I think that's one exciting thing about IGM 
is that at least one of the most important things I took away is I learned more in that iGym year than I did in probably any of my classes at uh, university. And I think one important thing about iGym is that it teaches you sometimes the reality of science. It's some, you know, don't expect to get results soon or quickly. I think I got our first set of results, like wet lab results, like six months into lab work. Um, and, but with that, it also teaches you resilience and, you know, the attitude of never give up, keep going, you know, even if something doesn't work over a period of, you know, a couple of weeks, a month, uh, it develops your mentality of exactly, you just got to keep going, never give up. And I think that's incredibly important, uh, not only in science, but in uh, any profession, really. Um, uh, the story I want to, sh- I, I have a lot of stories I wanted to share, but I think one that comes up is, I can't remember what we were doing, but this is part of the lab work. It was really late at night, I think, maybe close to midnight. And because I'm sure everyone who's participated in iGEM World would have stayed in the lab past 12 a.m. Uh, for many weeks. So what I think we were testing, um, we were going to run a gel. So I think we'll just look at some of our plasma constructs. But it was a 100 well gel. So that's really massive, but I think if you just hold it up, big to scale. Um, so we loaded the gel, we did everything, um, and then we dropped it. So we dropped the 100 well gel, and it was just a pile of DNA jelly kept uh, just all over the floor. Uh, so I think that is something I want to share because it's quite funny. You put in hours of effort into trying to run a gel and then it is flat on the floor. Um, and then I think half the team was crying at that point. <laughs> but then the next day we, you know, continued, we, we ran the gel and everything worked. So that it, it sums up iGEM in a way like, you know, sometimes you can put in um, a lot of effort and sometimes a, mo- a lot of times in the beginning, especially things don't go your way. But when things do go your way, and they will go your way eventually, um, like there is there is light at the end of the tunnel. And sometimes during IBM, uh, I think towards near wiki freeze, which is when you know, which is basically when all the lab or wear and dry lab work stops, is quite hectic. Maybe the last month leading up to wiki freeze is as anyone who's done IGEM, um, that's something to look forward to because I think that's when you surprise yourself. And I think that's one of the greatest part about IGEM is, oh, I never thought, you know, I could learn. I think I learned how to code the, it's the wiki website. It's only HTML, but someone taught me how to do it in like 20 minutes. Uh, you just reach another level and you just become so confident in yourself. Like, oh yeah, no matter how difficult something seems, um, you always find a way to do it. You always find a way, or if, you know, where uh, method A doesn't work, you find a method B, you find a method C or D, E, and you can just keep going on and on and on. And that sort of training, it's, it only comes with experience, right? And so if you do IGM at an undergraduate level and you're looking into going into uh, a master's or PhD program or life in academia, I think it trains you very, very well um, in terms of uh, how to deal when results aren't going away, or how to the human practices and integrating human practices. How to look at the bigger picture, right? Because it's great that you know you're focusing on the science, but it teaches you the human practices component teaches you how to ask questions that about your research how. When you when you have a research question in front of you, you want to be like, okay, how does this impact society? How does this impact any local problem? And then it gets you thinking about new research as well. Oh, there's a problem with um, a water system, or there's some new sort of electricity uh, generation thing we can do uh, within your local community. And how can I use synthetic biology to solve that? So it helps gives it helps you think from sort of a really three sixty angle about you know science, economics, ethics, legal side of things. And this is really important when you're going into a PhD and maybe you can, um, if you want to commercialize your PhD later or you want to be you know, part of the origin community. Um, so 
there's like right now I've listed so many different things that don't have anything to talk about. Like legal side things, economics, health. Like I can just keep going on and on and on and on. And I learned all of this not from taking a lot of different law classes or humanities courses. I learned all of these different um, sort of fields just from doing iGEM. And before I started iGEM, it was just, uh, I had a very focused sort of study and interest in biochemistry. But coming out of iGEM, I had, my interest had just grown. I was interested in things, I wanted to pursue my PhD in things that I never thought I would be interested in or I never looked into. And I think that's important. another big part of our gym. It, it opens your mind to areas um, where you thought you'd never look before. And you find out that you're actually really passionate about one thing. And actually, you're very, really passionate about a different multitude of things. And you're able to sort of uh, combine them. And that's how you sort of follow your passion. So sometimes people say, oh, my passion is this or this and that. Your passion or interest doesn't ever have to be one single thing. It can be a, a, a combination of things. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I had to say. And this year, I think it's going to be really, really exciting. And everyone participating in the team uh, should, yeah, should be really happy with the opportunity they have and really make the most of it. Yeah, Dishan, I think, uh, I think that you really experiment a lot uh, in vet lab and uh, the, the lab work and I, I know and uh, uh, just, uh, just then you said that the vet work is something like uh, what we have experienced as an as an uh, 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 so it's always uh, negative negative and negative Today negative, tomorrow negative, <laughs> and I think oh. But the positive always comes. Yeah, at I the end you always win. The, yeah, I think that's one of the uh, most uh, unforgettable, uh, unforgettable uh, experience. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and also you said that uh, we should show our passion, whatever. Uh, 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 on your work, or uh, on your community, or uh, uh, to do, to do something. I think uh, 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 that's also a good advice, uh, a good a good su uh, suggestion for new iGamers. Well, uh, well done. That's that's a good job. I think uh, your experience is really really great. And uh, now we will welcome Fan Kang uh, to share his story. So. Let's welcome Fan Tang. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for your quick stories from Dish and uh, Java. And I, I will share a quick story of mine. So uh, first, I want to go through my ID experience. Uh, so please. Uh, so can you hear, hear my, my screen share? Uh, can you see my screen share, sharing? So some web page. Hello. Yeah. Uh, and you know, uh, you know, uh, I, I, uh, I have, uh, and to, you know, uh, uh, I started my iPhone experience uh, about about five years ago. And first, as a student, uh, student, then I, I, I as the student leader, then I, uh, some advisors and instructors. And this year, I was first time to be a primary a PI of a high school team. And I was uh, I was uh, I was uh, the PI and some 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 kind of you know, instructor of this team. So the long item story. So first I want uh, maybe we can check the, some some web page. Uh, uh, you know, some sharing is not. Oh. Uh, yeah. Just now I can say the web page. Oh, yeah. I can say it now. Yeah, the, the first year I did my I did project is uh, is about gum PGA, a uh, uh, chemical, uh, 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 biochemicals, you know, biopolymers uh, that uh, was produced by some strains. And this year we focus on to engineers these strains, these strains to improve their production. 
Uh, so this is the first uh, item experience. Also, we did not that good. We also uh, we we only got the uh, uh, the bronze medal that year. I think the main reason is that we select the wrong track. The track we we, we uh, maybe we should uh, be is we should uh, be in is um, you know the 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 uh, manufacturer track and we we finally select the uh, medicine track. So uh, I I think that's the major. Uh, mistake we make that year. 2016, and uh, you know, the, the, this is the website, uh, and I was actually the, stu uh, the student leader of this team. And this is a picture when we first took uh, the first group meeting. And this year we uh, we have a, a project that was focused on some carbon sensing molecules called uh, auto NUC2. At that time, at that at that year, we engineered the two machines. The first machine is a, a, a cell to consume all the AI2 uh, molecules in the environment, and the second machine is uh, uh, is uh, uh, you know the uh, a production uh, a cell a cell machine for production the AI2 uh, molecules. So that in in this way, we can engineer we can control the AI2 uh, uh, concentration in the environment. So that we can finally control the population behaviors. So that year is the first time I got the golden medal, and yeah, uh, so we got a a, 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 a a good result. And then I came to I I, I graduated from my uh, from Nankai University, of which I was uh, I got my uh, bachelor degree. Then I moved to uh, to UCAS University of Chinese Academy of Sciences and to begin my master uh, master study. And then here we, uh, with the first time we engineer some uh, metabolic uh, pathways to consume the you know, some uh, nitrogen in the water to save some species. And in, uh, in twenty, uh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, so you do something with fish in your yeah, project? Yeah, just to uh, clean the water. You know, there are some pollution, nitrogen pollution in the water, so they might affect the. The quality and population uh, number of population uh, of the, the, some fish. So, we engineer some cell machine to record and consume the nitrogen in the in the water. Oh, also. <laughs> the really uh, fish. And then in twenty in twenty eighteen, uh, uh, we uh, the same the same team, and that time we engineered a, a, a project. The project is in the open track. And the rose forest. We engineer some uh, light sensor pathway from the fish voice RDP uh, system to uh, to use light to uh, use light and the, and voice uh, as the input. Then some flores, uh, some some uh, some you know some uh, pictures, and some colors, and some good smell that uh, will be produced from the. Uh, from the bacteria. So at that year, uh, our those forest uh, with the uh, open track, the, the best open project, and that was the first time I opened up, you know, I did a, a, a track before. And uh, in, uh, this is uh, the, 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 the project we did that year, and you know, we include sound and light, light, uh, light uh, uh, you know, signal, and then color and outdoor uh, could be produced from the screen. And we made some 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 pictures. Okay. Oh no, it was not shown here. But uh, some some pictures was the. Okay. Uh, so it, uh, this project is the uh, iGEM twenty eighteen project, right? Yes, twenty eighteen project. Oh, oh, that's one of the uh, most unforgettable or remarkable uh, project uh, I have heard. So you you turn the wires uh, into fluorescence, and uh, uh, is it right? Or you, you use some machine learning, or you, you use some computer to turn your wires into some uh, turns your wires into lights, and the lights turns into the fluorescence in, uh, for example, E. coli, right? Uh, sorry, I don't. I I didn't get your 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 word. So you mean? So 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 your project here is uh is to 
uh, transfer the wise into the light, uh, the or uh, whatever the strength or the wave of the light, no, no, and then you transfer the sound and light into 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 color and odor, some good smell. Oh, smell. you combine together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Mm. And in 2019, we did a project, uh, uh, you know, some some bacteria therapy, and we engineer some. Some temperature sensor. You know, we can use temperature as a uh, as control measurement. Uh, control, control uh, as a control to you know control the bacteria to uh, uh, produce some uh, uh, therapeutic molecules in our body. And and temperature signal can be uh, you know uh, controlled precisely in, in the time and uh, you know in the time uh, you know in our body. So <laughs> so we did some project in this way. And uh, there, uh, that's your way to design some uh, complex uh, connected circuits. So uh, this year, we, uh, I was the primary PI, PI of the Great Bay SC. And we haven't decided our item product, but uh, I hope we can do a good job this year. So uh, that's a brief, a brief, uh, brief, you know, brief summary of my, my uh, almost five years, uh, no, six years item experience. And uh, I think uh, I think what was the meaning of Eigen for me? Um, it means a lot, actually. For me, uh, Eigen has changed in my life. You know, five years ago, I was in Japan. I was uh, I was uh, studying oh. in Hokkaido University uh, that year. Uh, at, but at that, that time, I have nothing to do with uh, cloud engineering. I was studying plants and forest in Hokkaido. So. That time I I always I always focus on the plants, uh, the photosynthesis, and something you know that was far from our uh, uh, engineering. And then I came back from uh, from Japan. Uh, that that that's the first time I came across iGen that I know by engineering. I uh, uh, the time I know this item, I fall in love with with this uh, synthetic biology. And you know five years, uh, and uh, after five years now I was. Uh, uh, graduate. I, I'm a, I have become a master student in IGEN, uh, you know, in, uh, in bioengineering, and I will purchase my, pursue my, uh, you know, uh, uh, my PhD degree uh, in Imperial College London, and so the, my focus is, my major is also bioengineering. Uh, the, the, is, uh, my tutor is, you know, uh, Tom Ellis, maybe. I don't, I don't know if you know Tom Ellis. And he's also a young a scholar in biology, and so so I can change my life. And also, I think I can help me a lot. Some things, some useful things I learned from my podcast, some professional skills, uh, team leadership, collaboration, sharing. It also applies to other things I did in my in my life. So um, a lot of uh, so uh, yes, that's the. I think that's the. Thing I can feel me in this in five years, in this five years. Okay. Well, uh, it, it, you, you really have a long experience and a long uh, story towards IGM. And I think, well, you, you, you IGM, uh, your, your IGM uh, journey is very long. And uh, Fan Kang said that. Uh, I think the most most interesting sentence I can conclude for Fan Kang's uh, talking or Fan Kang's story sharing is that today I jam, tomorrow forever I jammer. So uh, since you become an I jammer, you will become forever I jammer. <laughs> it, it, it's uh, oh. Uh, uh, and another thing I think that you can, uh, you, you share really, uh, really interesting uh, projects to us, uh, whatever alumni or whatever new items. I think uh, what you said or uh, your experience uh, will inspire us a lot. And I also uh, explore too. Yeah, <laughs> Fang Kang is an agent god. <laughs> and, uh, I think Fan Kang uh, knows uh, more than I jam, and he may know other things about synthetic biology. Uh, and uh, 
Uh, uh, what you are doing is about the directed evolution, is that right? Uh, I, I you, do, you do not do directed evolution. I love direct evolution, but my main focus is on uh, genetic first design and qualitative oh. biology. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Direct, directed evolution is just a tool in some way. If you are. Oh, not, oh I, I got it. Yeah. But uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we can talk for free. We can talk freely. And uh, so here comes the next section. Uh, uh, that is a uh, well talking. Uh, well talking. I think uh, in the second section, everyone, including uh, including me and including our participants, including our moderators. Uh, uh, Zisha, Fan Kang, and Ryu, uh, we have really learned a lot. And now uh, we are going to talk about some uh, special special track. And in this section, what we are going to do is to ask a question. And uh, then we four uh, alumni or four agent ambassadors will use one, two, three sentences to uh, to answer these questions, uh, particularly if we want to uh, talk more, and it's okay. You want to say, uh, I want to say five sentences, uh, or you want to say uh, a lot of sentences, that's also okay, uh, whatever you want to talk. And now first, uh, we are going to talk about the food. Uh, I think in January, everyone will have some food. Uh, yeah, you know, and uh, uh, Especially, the Jianjianbrei is one of the food story that we can have. To uh, we, we we can talk, and also you can talk about your uh, other food, whatever in your lab or in your lab work, or your food story. I think it's also okay. So uh, I will be the last one to answer this question. So the first question is, uh, what's your favorite food story in Ajian? And uh, the first one to answer this question. Uh, is 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 me? Uh, I, will, I will answer this question first. Uh, I think the, uh, the 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 funnest food uh, in Anjan, especially in uh, Jambore, is is it, the burger. I think because every time when I go to the budget to have the lunch or have the dinner, uh, they are maybe less than not so much. So. Uh, I, I will go to the burg, uh, go go to go to the uh, you, you can say there is a shop uh, in the Hirons Center uh, that we can buy burgers. Uh, I, I use a ticket uh, that is given by IGM HQ to buy the burgers. And I think uh, I just take about two dollars or one dollars to buy that burger, and it's really big. I think if I want to buy a, buy, a, buy a burger in uh, in other side, uh, in other place, it may take more dollars. I think. Uh, so, so I think that's the most uh, finest uh, uh, story I want to tell. Uh, maybe more than three sentences. <laughs> so next uh, come is Zisha. So, what's your uh, finest food story? And you need to turn on the mic microphone. Oh, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. We have something wrong with your microphone. Okay, maybe we. No, we can't hear you. Uh, maybe uh, you can. Uh, you can re-enter the session room, and uh, uh, we will uh, go to Fan Kang first. Oh. And Zishan, and the next, uh, when well, Fan Kang is OK, and the next is you. And uh, so Fan Kang, what's your favorite uh, food story? No, there are three okay. sentences. I think food is, yes. is not good at all. You know, we all we are know I didn't do this, <laughs> especially for some for our Asian people. So uh, in, in Boston, I prefer to some go to some uh, some some Japanese uh, go to, go to eat some Japanese food, some some noodles. 
I also not suggest you to use Chinese food in Boston. You know, American Chinese food is not Chinese food. <laughs> they're, 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 you know, they are modified. You know, so I I I I, I strongly suggest you to, yeah. to some Japanese. Uh, you know, uh, uh, buy some Japanese food in, in Boston. I love uh, beef curry. <laughs> beef curry. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what about the real? What's your finest uh, food story? Well, um, I'd like to talk about not about giant jambalaya food, but uh, the normal food <laughs> in Ajam. I think everyone takes pizza when it comes to yeah. the wiki fleas or something. And for me, the pizza yeah. is, you know, when, when I imagine Ajem, I sometimes come up with, you know, pizza. <laughs> mm -hmm, <laughs> you know, yeah. they are kind of linked. <laughs> and I always yeah. remember the, the wiki foodies memory, how mm -hmm. harsh it is. So I'd like to yeah, take pizza. It's very uh, push. It's pizza, very push. <laughs> pizza and Coke and sometimes Red Bull. <laughs> I, love, I love Coke. Oh, so so you buy them first, and then you you, you eat it, right? Yeah, we do too. Every time before we can freeze, we sometimes eat nothing, and then we eat a lot because of we can freeze. Uh, so Zishan is coming back. Hello, Zishan. Hi, can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah, we can hear oh, you. Yes. So what's your Perfect. funniest uh, yes. story? Um, I don't I don't particularly have too much of a funny story, but I guess. Uh, what was quite fun about the, uh, I guess, you know, dinner session, dinner or lunch sessions at iGEM was uh, just being able to eat. So you'd, I'd grab like pasta and I think there were chicken wings as well. Um, and I would go and sit on a random table and there were like people from like 10 different countries on that table. So I think that was quite an interesting, interesting experience that um, you really only get to experience at these types of conferences. Um, and I guess the funny story would be um, just eating a lot, really. <laughs> I think we were, <laughs> we were like, we really? eat a lot before the wiki freeze. <laughs> oh, yeah, we ate, I ate a lot before the wiki freeze. But I think before <laughs> our, I think us, um, our presentation, so I wasn't presenting, but before our presentation, we were all very, uh, we were confident, but we were a bit nervous. So I think we ate. We like ordered, like we went outside and back chicken wings and KFC and we just ate a lot. So I thought that was quite funny because um, we just felt instead of preparing, we just kept eating. So there, there's plenty of food available <laughs> in Boston. Mm. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought that was quite funny um, and a lot of a lot of uh, ice cream during wiki freeze helps you get helps you keeps you going and uh, keeps you cold <laughs> <laughs> keeps you cold uh, yes. and, yeah uh, and i think uh, it's about uh, uh 4 44 and it, it may be one minute left oh it's really a pity that we have so many questions in this will uh a uh, real part, a real talking part. Uh, however, we can ask uh, one more question, I think, uh, due to the time limitation. Uh, so uh, the fun is the lab feel, I think, uh, the lab feel story. And uh, this question uh, has been asked before uh, in the story sharing. So uh, I think uh, the last question is one of the most uh, thing in IJAP, uh, in your experience. I think you can uh, re, uh, re, 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 re say it again. Uh, so uh, now let's come to Hong Kong. So what's your favorite thing in Asia? Favorite thing? Uh, favorite thing I think is um, for me is the leadership. Maybe leadership. You know, in Asia, I learned leadership to how to lead a team, how to win the championship. And how to apply this leadership and this, uh, the experience you learn into other field. So, yeah, that's one thing I love most. And also, I love uh, a lot of things. Like synthetic biology. Wow. Directed evolution. Wow. Great. <laughs> I love great, great. Direction. We are always. I love directed. 
you are the god of synthetic biology, I think. <laughs> ah. So uh, just for three sentences, uh, one to three sentences. And uh, now comes to Zisha and uh, your uh, funny, uh, your, your funniest uh, and uh, interest, uh, uh, interesting story or interesting thing, I think. Uh, in one or two or three sentences. Where do I, where do I start? Um, I guess uh, really just the most interesting thing was the amount. It's you can surprise yourself by the amount you can learn. Um, so if you think you can't do something, that's I don't will make the whole experience will make sure that oh no, actually you can do this because I started off more interested in wet lab. And then at the end of iGEM, I figured out I really enjoyed bioinformatics and I actually picked it up as a second major at university because of uh, the dry lab experience I had in iGEM. Um, and that's something I never thought about before iGEM. So that just opened up a completely new door for me. Um, but yeah, that's, I think that was quite interesting. Well, that's also awesome. <laughs> awesome and interesting thing. And what about Rel? Well, for me, the, for me, the, the most interesting part of iGEM is, you know, iGEM yeah. wiki is, is, is now kind of a dictionary of a lot of problems. <laughs> you know, everyone, you know, yeah. suggests the problems and also suggests a solution using synthetic biology. So for me, looking at the wikis are kind of, for me, is the most interesting part of iGEM. Yeah, especially before the wiki phrase. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think the most interesting thing for me is the wiki phrase. And uh, uh, why I say this, it is because uh, every time before wiki phrase, uh, you will become a superman. You can do uh, everything you could not do. <laughs> and I think that's very interesting. Thing. Uh, so time is limited and uh, time is over. Uh, this it's our uh, our section for uh, well telling, and uh, there are many questions we can tell and we can share to others. And welcome to after Ajan and welcome to join the Ajan team after Ajan team. And uh, uh, it is for free to talk with us. And every time you want to share or want us to share or want us to talk some stories to you, it is free. You can call us, uh, uh, you can email us, and uh, you can whatever, use any way to connect with us. And I think uh, uh, it, the time is really, uh, really limited. And uh, uh, what actually I think is how time fares. It is really quickly. So 45 minutes has gone. So uh let's say goodbye to the alumni and the new IGMer or the IGM alumni and uh, thank you for your participation and uh, thank you for our ambassadors to share our uh stories and uh, see you next time and you can connect with us at any time see you bye bye thank you bye bye thank you thank you thank you Jabo. Thank you, Jibra. Thank, yeah, thank, thank you, Bang Kong. Thank you, Leisha. Thank, <laughs> thank you, everyone who attended. <laughs> All right. Bye.